out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com starting December 20th. All right, man, we back. Good fella Sports TV. Appreciate the love, support, keep sharing the videos, man. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button if you haven't. Won't miss another video. Best on that you can make it, share the video. And uh, let's talk about uh, uh, a fight this weekend that's going to be a, the main event of the Fox prelim card, Caleb Plant and Mike Lee. And uh, one of my subs kind of brought this, you know, up. When was the last time we seen two white American-born fighters fighting for a world title? Mike Lee is from somewhere in Illinois. He went to Notre Dame University. For some reason, he want to fight. You know, his, his resume ain't really, you know, impressive. You know, I looked at a little bit of his film. Uh, you know, Caleb Plant, he from, uh, what, Nashville, Cashville, Tennessee. So this is, this is really, this is really a rare occasion, especially for a lot of the new generation of boxing fans. You know what I'm saying? This is a rare occasion where you, you know, you don't, you usually see a white, two white fighters for a world championship. It's your, usually a European title or it's two UK fighters in, over there in London or somewhere over there in the Brixton fighting for a title. So, you know, this is this is a, a, a very, very rare occasion where you get two white fighters fighting in Las Vegas for a world title fight. That's going to be the main event of, on Fox. You know, and, and PBC might open it, might segue you know, he they might segue a new uh, segue. You know, a lot of fans, excuse me, over to the the Pacquiao Thurman card. This is this is a real, real huge, huge fight for P Premier Boxing Champions Al Heyman, Fox. This this is this is this that, this was a very this was very imperative for them to put to put this fight on. This was this was a must. Put this on Free Fox, right? Two white fighters fight for a world title. Mike Lee coming down from 75, 68 said it was easy to make them coming down, making the way. Caleb Plant got a huge, and there's a huge, and there did nobody got a better opportunity than Caleb Plant, Mike Lee. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of American white fans, that the reason they like, the reason you know UFC is, is, is huge in America is because. Caucasian fans can see fighters like them. That's huge. In boxing, it's been, you know, it's pretty much been, you know, like it's, it's, it's been an extinction of white fighters. The last really white fighter in America I can really think of was Jason Lidson, and that's when Adrian Broner knocked him out early in his career. That had, He had a little bit of promise uh, behind him. And I could be missing a few other ones, but this is huge, and this is also huge for David Benavidez. You know, this is huge for Benavidez because his popularity gonna soar when he start connecting to the American public and he really tap in to, to his Mexican fan base. But he also needs that 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 rival. And it's really gonna be important for Kayla Plant to tap into his white fan base. And, if, and I think it starts here. I think Caleb Plant has an opportunity to be a, a huge star. And it started with Mike Lee. You know, I understand even if he was fighting a Mexican or, or, or a white fighter or, or, or a blase black fighter like that. But this is this is big because this was strategic because Plant and Mike Lee was supposed to fight in um, in Tennessee in their hometown uh, fight for for um for for Caleb Planet in Tennessee, and I was gonna go down there, um, but they changed it to, to Vegas, and I understand why. You know this 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 could be huge for PBC. This could be a uh, this can be a a a, 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 a dang this can be dangerous for all the competition. You know, if enough a white enough white American fans or just American fans in general, they look and they see. You know, two white fighters fighting in the ring, and they see the talent of Caleb Plant or the talent of Mike Lee, which I don't really see like a lot of talent, like technically, what technical for Mike Lee. Maybe he's more of an intangibles guy. But if they could put on a respectable show, 
Caleb Plant fan base is going to really, really grow. Or the winner. I don't want to go ahead and crown them before they fight. Him or Mike Lee fan base really are going to grow. And watch. If he turns into if he turns into if he turns into a cash cow, or he turns into you know he started becoming the biggest money maker at 68. All of a sudden, everybody gonna want to call him out. Canelo gonna want to fight him. Ubu gonna want to fight him. And you know, and, and, and she can start. She can change for him. Like you know, the world title was great for Caleb Plant. A uh, world title for Mike Lee could be great for Mike Lee. Could be really great, but. That money, that money going to allow them to do whatever they want to do. The winner. And PBC, this was genius. This was genius. I, I don't remember the last time I seen two white American fighters fight for a world title on, on any on any network. That, that was a prominent HBO Showtime, let alone free TV and Fox. You know, Caleb Plant or Mike Lee going to have to shine. If they put on a classic performance and a really good rememberable fight, which I don't think the talent levels indicate that for Mike Lee, but what if he got a lot of heart and he put his he put his kahunas on the line and he get in there and, and he make it a war he, and he bleeding and they just going to war and he might get planning trouble, look like he playing, and they just go to war, PBC stock's gonna go through the fucking roof. Caleb Plant is gonna quickly, I'm not just say off of that fight, Caleb Plant is quickly going to be one of PBC's most valuable assets. And if they can tap into David Benavidez and really grow him into a star, and they can tap into that Cinco de Mayo dates, and, you know, they can tap into really, you know, growing his Mexican fan base, his Mexican-American fan base, PBC might have the biggest super fight in super middleweight history. Casual-wise, and you know they gonna marinate that motherfucker. They gonna marinate that. They gonna marinate all that. They gonna marinate all of that. They gonna take their time, and they gonna uh, build it up right. And like I said, this, this is a huge. This is huge. This is huge for PBC this weekend. I don't think a lot of people understand. And it kind of went on the radar. To one of my subs mentioned it yesterday. We went live, and I thought about it. And I'm just sitting there today, you know, shooting my moves and you know doing what I gotta do. And I thought I said, you know what? He right. This is huge. This is huge, man. And if him and Mike Lee could put on a good performance, a solid performance, Caleb Plant might garnish a lot of viewerships. He might garnish an entire new fan base. He may garnish, you know, he gonna, gonna jump in value. Now, if it's a one-side ass whooping, you know, may, maybe he still, you know, he garnished, or him and Mike Lee garnish that fan base still. But I think the problem, the reason popularity dropped in boxing is because the, the extinction of the white, of the white prize fighter. You know, at the end of the day, it's very redundant for a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, Amer white Amer That's a, another n number one reason why the NBA don't got a lot of popularity because the, the 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 absence of the white athlete. You know, in boxing, they seen the Hispanics, they seen a ton of black fighters. That's why a lot of people try to discredit black fighters because they seen them so much. They dominated so long. This domination, 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 domination. They dominated the game so long. They seen Hispanics, you know, dominate the head, the headlines. You know, be put on the pedestal. When the last white fighter that really done something and really, 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 you know, made some noise. You know, same thing for basketball. When the last white basketball player really made some real noise, like Larry Bird. You know, Kevin Love, really, he's a really good player, but. I mean, he ain't going to take the NBA to the next level. And that's why the NFL, one of the reasons the NFL continues to reign supreme. Because the white athlete can compete there at a high level. Your, time, your quarterbacks, Tom Brady, uh, Peyton Manning for years, Drew Brees, um, Phillip Rivers, and all, all of them. And now the black players are now starting to infiltrate the quarterback system. And then really what you got, you got a few good white receivers out there. You got a white running back, Christian McCaffrey, that's really, really good. His dad was a solid football player, not the athlete he is. But, you know, you really don't have a lot of white cornerbacks. A lot of, you know, you got good linemen, but linemen don't sell. Offensive linemen don't sell. You got some good white sack artists. You got some good white linebackers. One of the best linebackers in the game. One or two at 1A, 1B, Luke Keekley. Right there with Bobby Ratner. 
You know, but the white you do need the white boxer to really take this shit to the next level, to be honest. You do. That's for all sports because it is what it just is what it is. You know, but hey, this is my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Good fella sports TV. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, shipping, video request. Keep sharing the videos. Definitely appreciate the love and support. Um, other than that, man, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, TheHelpBlaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one box is 18 percent off the 100 percent all natural products, lotion, soaps, good soaps, bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pomade, much, much more. Website promo code description. We gone.